So you just found out that you're PCSing to Colorado Springs, Colorado, and you're a little excited because you've heard all about these great bases here. Maybe you're coming in to Schriever or Peterson Space Force Base, or the Cheyenne Mountain Space Force Station, or Fort Carson, or the US Air Force Academy. We have five military installations here in our area. This video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the current real estate market for your PCS season of 2022. So stay tuned. Hey, Laura Gallen here with Mountain Prairie Living Empowered by ERA Shields. And on this channel, I answer questions about the buying and selling process and the current real estate market. If you are moving to this area, then stay tuned, subscribe to the channel where I give you up-to-date information about what our market is doing and what you might be planning for if you are PCSing here. So let's get to today's information. I'm posting this video in January of 2022. PCS season is coming up, which means that we have active military that will be leaving and we have active military coming in and maybe you're one of them coming in. So I wanted to get some information out there to you about our current market so that you could best plan because you need to start planning three to six months out. So let's talk about the real estate market at the end of 2021, December 2021. We ran a super tight market all year. We are absolutely in a seller's market. In fact, the entire year of 2021, we had two weeks inventory or less. And if you'd like to know what the days on market terminology means, then check out this video here on days on market. But essentially we have stayed with at least two weeks of inventory sometimes even as low as nine days of inventory, meaning that if no other listings came on the market in nine days, all of that real estate would be sold if it was a perfect market. But it's a super tight market. And with that, we have a supply and demand issue as we have all over the US. So our values are rising as well as we heard that the feds are going to increase the cost of money three times this year. Now we're gonna see some incremental um, interest rate changes, but they won't necessarily be as high as what the feds increase to. So just know that we're definitely going to see some, some interest rate re increases, which will change your buying power in this market. So as of December, 2021, the average home price was 503,000 and some change. The median home price stayed pretty flat for the last five months at $450,000. So are there homes lower than that? Yes, there are. There's townhomes, there's condominiums, there's a variety of other homes. Now I'm sure you're asking about the rental market. Our rental market is just as strong. We definitely have some challenges with the inventory of rentals also. Now, obviously, you know, you're gonna check on the various websites for rentals. You can absolutely connect to a real estate professional. We can and will help you with rentals. And we could also talk to you about a rent to own program called um, Home Partners of America, something that you also might consider. But no matter which way you choose to go into this housing market, just be aware that it does take time. So when you come here, if you are house hunting, when you come here, be prepared to just, just be out there the entire day that you're here. If you're here for three days, or if you're here for four days, you're probably gonna hit it for that many days. We have multiple offer situations in a lot of that price point. So be prepared to be flexible, to consider different strategies. And if you'd like to know more about some of the strategies you can use in a strong seller's market, then check out this video here. But you really wanna work with a real estate professional who's going to guide you and help you with those multiple offer situations and as well as what to make on an offer there. Now the price points above 500,000 and up, they definitely are still having multiple offer situations because our market is so tight. Uh, we are at about, I think this morning we had 530 total listings in El Paso County. When you connect with a real estate professional, they're going to set you up with the local MLS and they could set an automatic email. So you're going to get that information as soon as it hits the market because we need to move fast if you are going to be looking to buy. Now, you should ask your real estate professional to make sure that they're going to do FaceTime with you with the phone 
And um, if you're not available for the FaceTime because of work, maybe they're going to do a video recording for you to go through the property and give you information about it. Doesn't matter if you're six months, even a year out for some people that are relocating. I work with people that are probably gonna be here in another year or so, but we're still connected, we're still checking out the market, so they're staying abreast of what's going on. So don't hesitate to reach out to a real estate professional. But I think it's really important to know what the market you're coming into is, so that you will give yourself enough time to set up. The other thing I suggest is if you are nervous about this information, then as soon as you have your orders, get on the wait list for base housing in case you need it. A good suggestion is if you have, you don't have your orders yet, but you want to call some of the military mover, want to connect to those movers and maybe get a reservation for around that time so that you're set up for that because they do predict that in this 2022 PCS season, there's going to be a shortage of movers. So either consider the Diddy move and plan for that and prepare for that, maybe using some of those uh, crates that you can load your stuff in and they'll move it. Now on a positive note, Colorado Springs is stinking awesome. We have so many hiking trails, so much beauty around to get outside for the kids, for yourself as a family. It's a very family oriented area. There is just a lot to do. Plus we're super close to the mountains. You can do day trips. Uh, we often go up to Buena Vista or Buena Vista, they call it. I swear it's not spelled that way, but Buena Vista and you could do snowshoeing trips. If in the summertime, you can do rafting trips with the family and you could still make it back home. There's camping galore near us. There's fishing. There's a lot of things to do in the area around Colorado Springs. And if you're really into the big city stuff, we are about 45 minutes to an hour away from the Denver market. So you can just shoot up north and be in the Denver market. For the Olympic Museum also, we have a ton of history here in Colorado Springs to do with the kids. So it's a great market that you're getting PCS to. I really hope that this information helps you prepare. If you'd like more information about relocating here because you're PCSing here, then feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is linked below, but I'm so glad you watched the video. I hope this information helps you as you prepare for your PCS move this season, and uh, maybe I'll meet you one day. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you want to know more information about the Colorado Springs area and one of the cool things you can do on a drive up around the mountains here local, then check out this video about the, the old train tracks that take you around through down the hiking areas just above the old Broadmoor area.